Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a walking animation. So I've been going around YouTube looking at people's animation just for a reference, just for proof. And I've gone by some good animations and some bad animations. Some were decent, but I'm going to try, I'm just not going to try, I'm going to show you guys how to do a good walking animation. So I'm just going to, let's see, I'm just going to do a blank rig. For R6, I'll do an R15 max one because I suck at R15, so I have to improve on that as well. Alright, so just do that thing. Well, I don't really care. I'm just going to go. Just name that for now. Okay. So put you there. Remember, add items. So if you're a new to animator, I'll put the link in the description for the, the whole animator thing. So what you want to do is go to here, and then if you're going, then put your username in there. And then add it, and then there's old R15, that will break your rig, you don't want to do that. R15, and then R6. Um, what default body means is, like, if your body looks something like around this, it will look like that. It won't turn to the sky, but the best sh same body shapes. Alright, so back to what I was saying. Alright, so now what you want to do is either go to item, and add item, or just press 9, and then click on the rig. Alright, so no need to tick any of those, because it's already done for you. Alright. So what you want to do first, you don't, because, let me do a quick demonstration before we start. If you're having trouble doing something like this, for example, let's say, well, like, look, okay, like that, and then that, then you're going to do your legs, and then that forward, and let's say, the all keep flying at the same time. The reason why it's doing that, oh yeah, bef um, because the, you should click on rig, press plus, or plus, if you want it to be better, kind of zoom in a little bit, but not too much, I'd say there. Alright, so look, ready? Let's say you're going to start here. Let's say you want to start at a certain time. Alright. You want to press your plus button or and add the keyframe and then scroll across and then do this. And then do that. Then come back there, then do that. And then, and then you come for the legs and then do it at any point you want. And then you're gonna go that. Oh, you wanna add that there too. Then that. And now watch, this will happen. See? See? There you go. Alright, now, now we're getting off topic. Alright, so let's start. So what you wanna do is, cause you wanna make it slow, because if you do it, it would look too fast. I would say do straight on the dot of four. Alright, so press R. In order to rotate it, you wanna do R. To move it and then R again to be able to rotate it. Alright, so back to what I was saying. Alright, so you want to move your character to the location. So look, test it, give it a test. If it looks too slow, I'd say put it on 140. There you go. Yeah, that's good, that's good. There you go. But I'll stick on 40, not 40, just um, stay it on 4. Good, there you go. Now, <clears throat> What you want to do first is start with your positioning, well, like that, so you can keep going like that, and just like that, and then kind of rotate your character to the left so it looks like a good walk, and like that, and then you want to pull him down a little bit, because look, cause look, this is what happens, so in, if you walk in real life, you're going to, um, going to go step up, then so you're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, alright, so now, so now you should start like this. Now, now as you can see it's working like that. Okay, so you should have done something like this. There you go. Now, what you want to do is scroll it around to, I'd say, 20. And then you want to pull your, that, you want to pull that leg. Or, um, you want to pull this one. That's the one that was pulled forward, like the one here. You want to pull that. And then... What you want to do, pull that down, then pull it back up to the point it should be touching your right arm. And then you want to move your right, and then you want to move all your hands so it looks like that. There we go. And then now, what you want to do, you just want to pull it up a little bit. Just look like he's just floating a little bit, but don't pull him too much. Otherwise, it'll look like, look real. So now it should look like this. See, there you go. Now, what you want to do. Go to 40 again, and then you want to pull it down, then you want to pull it forward, pull it back, pull it down, and then pull that back. Oh, whoop. There we go. 
um, for Tuesday. All right, and remember, when you're doing this type of thing here, you don't do this from the beginning, but when you do it, you want to pull him down again, uh, just a little bit, and then rotate him to the left. Whatever the arm is pointing at, you rotate it to either left or right. But don't do it too much, because if you do it like this, watch. Yeah, it will look weird. So what you want to do is just rotate it about there. There you go. There you go. See? There you go. There you go. We're doing good so far. All right. Good. Okay. Now, 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 now. Bring it to here. There we go. Now you just want to pull it. Not pull it back. You just want to pull it there. There you go. And then you just do it again. But now it's changed. So you're just going to do it for the same. So you're going to do the same thing you did from that leg to that leg. Just going to pull it back. And then what you're going to do, you're going to make sure you pull down. Oh, no, you push down and you pull up. So it should be touching that arm. And remember what we did? You want to move the arm, put it pointing straight down. Like that. There you go. And then you want to make sure you pull him up so it looks like he's a bit floating. And then go to 20. <clears throat> All right. And then you're going to, remember, pull that down. Pull it back a little bit. Because it goes before. There you go, put it back, then do what we just did before, pull this. So the basic thing about a walk cycle is that it's going to it's gonna start, so it's going to start like this, then when you do your walking animation, it's going to end like that. Alright, so now, you're going to put it there. Oh, whoops, you make sure, remember, you want to rotate it to the left, and then put it to the right, and then you rotate it a little bit to the right, there you go. Now let's see how good how good it starts. There you go, look. There we go. That's good, that's good. We're doing good. We're making progress. There you go. Um, there, so that's good so far. So now what you wanna do is now um if you want to, um if it's like that, as you can see it ended like that. So you wanna go to that keyframe. If you wanna copy and paste it, well I would say that's an easy way if you want to. But I don't think it would look good. Just watch. Actually, no, it does look good. Okay, there we go. Um, Now, do not copy these. The reason why you don't copy these here, I'll show you. Because, look, if you copy them, right, watch, this will happen. It will come back. And you don't want that. You want to make sure it keeps going. <coughs> oh, whoops, crap. There you go. Luckily, I copied it. All right. And then what you want to do is you want to do it again by pulling that forward. Then... Just want to kind of rotate it a little bit to the right, pull him down a little bit. Remember, pull him up a little bit. There we go, and then pull him down. Remember, now pull him up a little. There you go. Then pull him down a little, and then rotate him a little bit. There you go. Now, um, so legit, I cannot be bothered. <laughs> Well, actually, no, I'll just be bothered. I see it ended like that again, so what you want to do is do it one more time. Copy it. Go to three. There you go. Nice. Now, anything that's left over, delete it. There you go. You're all done then. There you go. Nice. All right. Now, you just keep doing what you did before. Pull it up a little bit. Pull it down a little bit, or rotate it, then you just want to keep doing that, pull it up, pull it back there again, pull it up just a little bit, and then, boom. What I usually do, is, uh, just come here, just come, uh, there, and then, And then I go back to normal. Like none of this ever happened. Might want to hurry up before my computer shuts down. <laughs> Alright, because I can hear it's pretty loud, so it means it's probably going to shut down soon. So there we go. Alright, thank you guys. So there you go. So now let's give it a good watch. There we go. Nice. Alright, there we go. Alright, that's the end for this. That's the end for this tutorial. Uh, this main anime tutorial. I might do another one. 
if you guys do did find this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.